what is going on guys? It's Simple Game here bringing you another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own third party. I think that's what it's called. Or a little overlay where it, where it says, can we hit this amount of likes? As you see in my videos, it just slides in and slides back out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download Paint.net. There will be a link in the description so you can download Paint.net. Once you've downloaded Paint.net, you want to go to File. Go to New. And then here you want to put uh, your resolution you render your videos in. So let's say you render your videos at 1080p for the width, put 1920, and then for the height, put 1080. So I render my videos at 720p, so I'm gonna put for the width 1280, and then for the height, put 720. Actually, this is my second time recording this video because the first time I noticed that my mic didn't record, and I did it. I did the whole tutorial, like everything, but I noticed that my mic didn't record because in this little software right here, it wasn't recording. So. Um, once you once you like put enter just zoom it out and then wrap or oh, like press or select the magic wand left click it delete and then you have a transparent background the next thing you want to do is you're gonna want to have um you want to grab the or select the shapes tool go to rectangle and then put draw fate filled shape and then you want to make uh, like this like um like uh wait let me get this color you want to make the shape you want it like don't make it too fat and make it where you want it to be so I think about right there looks good press enter and then you want to add some cool effects to it so I'll catch you guys when I finish with the effects so what do you, once you added the, uh, like the effects you want just create a new layer and name this layer you don't have to do this but I'll just name it and then put can we hit so you can know what layers like you're, you're, like, you're supposed to edit so once you like created the new layer, uh, like choose your font and then choose your font size. I'm gonna go with Obelux Pro and then font size. I'm gonna go with 20 because I think that's a pretty good from size for this little stuff. And I'm gonna check it out. Let's see if it fits. I'll make this white. Uh, there we go. I think that looks good. So I'm just gonna put can we hit and then put dot dot dot. Let me make this at um. There we go. So I'll just leave it right there. Then I want to add some cool effects to this one. So just press uh, the magic wand and then select it. And then you can add some cool effects to this. So let me just add these cool effects or like little little effects, not that big, not that much of effects, but still it makes it look cool. So there we go. Add like a little gray tint to it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add some little like outline to it so you can it can pop out. So people can see in the video so just go to object go to on object of course you don't have to do this be as creative as possible with this since all of us have creativity inside of us so just once you do all of this or whatever you want to do this to this text just press ok or whatever and then you want to add like the light goal you want it to show up so as in as you see in mind it says 10 likes and I'm actually going to do the same so just make the text bigger so it can pop out more so people can see easier like easy more easy than the can we hit spot so just put 10 likes actually I'm gonna change the color for this so it can look different since um from the can we hit part so 10 likes and then I'll add a question mark as you see right there and uh let me just, let me put it where it's supposed to go or like where it, I want it to be look around right there looks good so it, like keep it off like so it can't be in a straight line so the next thing you want to do, you want to find your little thumbs up, like part. Uh, right here, this is the one I use. So just find the one you want. This looks like 3 days. So just left click it, put copy image. Uh, oh, I forgot that the text. Make a new layer for this. So then you can put the 10, like the like what you want. So once once you copied your little like button, create a new layer, then press Control V, then uh, make it smaller so it can fit like the little overlay, and then make like twist it like like put it sideways or something any anything you want to do with this. This is uh, this is your choice. So about right there looks good. I'll press Enter and I'll add some effects to it so it can match like the background. So once you finish with your like button, like how you want it, 
as you see I only added a drop shadow to it because I think that's pretty cool so the next thing you want to do is you want to save it like once you're done you would just want to save it uh, just go to file go to save as and then here you can put paint on that so that you can edit the like you, co you can come back and edit it but if you want to put it in your video straight away like if you want to put it in like Camtasia or Sony Vegas you're going to have to do PNG so just like choose anything you want of course you're going to have to do a PNG version so you can put it into your editing software so I'm just going to be doing a PNG for this video so just go to file name and then put anything you want so I'll just put it overlay 2 because the first one like I messed up with the tutorial so then you just press save auto detect flatten and there you go so let's move on to the editing software so once you're in your little editing software uh, as you see here I'm in Camtasia I have, uh, also I have Sony Vegas but for this tutorial I'm going to use in Camtasia because it's actually easier to like do that little overlay effect in Camtasia since Sony Vegas is actually way more complicated so you just want to um, I added a little clip here and then you just want to drag your little um, your overlay and then just leave it this like the same length as it comes in so leave it at the default length Length and then go to um like select the trans transitions um tab um go all the way down scroll all the way down select or grab the slide right option put it on your left side of the overlay and then grab or select the slide left and then put it on your right side so then it can add that little sliding effect as you see in my video so let's play it let me lower the volume actually because I don't want it like making too much noise so you see there it just slides in and it slides for a pretty good amount of time as you see there it just slide out so yeah guys that's how you make your very own overlay or third party I don't know how what's it called like um like go like go um whatever it's called so that's how you make it please make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment and I'll catch you guys next time peace